today to recognize two Victoria-based Sea King pilots killed in a 1994 crash near New Brunswick. Bob Henderson and Wally Sweetman managed to save two crew members when their helicopter went down. More than two decades later, a former pilot who flew with the pair is pushing to have a highway renamed in their honor. Kristen Robinson reports. Bonded by a decades-old tragedy, Jim Newton and Cheryl Ann Henderson are moving forward on a common mission. It's a hard thing to remember. It, it devastated our squadron. It, it was terrible. There will be no repairing of Sea King number 425 this time around. In April 1994, Henderson's husband Bob and fellow pilot Wally Sweetman died when their Sea King helicopter slammed into a hillside near St. John, New Brunswick. The Victoria-based 443 Squadron pilots had been transferring the Sea King to their home base in Patricia Bay when an engine malfunction fueled the fatal crash. Two crew members survived. Certainly we didn't anticipate that he would be gone at 47 years of age. They taught me how to be a pilot and um, I will never forget them. Newton, who flew with both Henderson and Sweetman, pushing for part of the Pat Bay Highway outside of Victoria, which runs alongside 443 Squadron, to be memorialized in honor of the fallen pilots. It would be nice to have some acknowledgement, although it's, 20, it's coming up on 25 years since they both passed. The Trans-Canada between Langley and Abbotsford is officially dedicated as the Highway of Heroes for Canadian soldiers who lost their lives in Afghanistan. Newton says even a sign for Henderson and Sweetman along the Pat Bay would be nice. Next week, the Sea King will be retired after 55 years at their former home base. It would be a proud moment to also honor Bob and Wally at the same time. For the families that remain behind, we live with it every day. And that's for the rest of your life. Kristen Robinson, Global News. In Health Matters tonight, a